How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from the Scale Model Car Guy channel and uh, I just wanted to make a video just to I seen Al Woods he he was giving the history of one of his little ships he's gonna be building and everything and uh, and I've been watching a lot of the military guys I watch them build and I really think they do a lot of good jobs uh, James Fur, I think it was Fur. Joe K. I mean, just there's a lot of guys. I can't, I can't name everybody, but uh, they build planes, tanks. You know, they build everything, ships. And uh, I got a whole closet full of military models, that, and I don't, I don't build them. And the first one I built, I guess, somewhat of a military model would be the Kuba wagon that I built. But you know, I kind of made a hot rod out of it. Uh, but uh, I've been buying over the years. My oldest boy, he's he's just about thirty years old now, but he uh, he builds uh, military models. He don't have a YouTube channel or nothing, but he does the military models, and he also he's into uh, bolt action, which is a military game, but it's played with the you know little model kits that they build and everything. And he also does Warhammer, which is the little figures and stuff. He's into all that and. And I'm always buying him stuff, and he's buying me stuff. And, but, uh, so I just, like I said, I got a whole closet full of stuff. This ain't all of it. This is just some of it. But I just wanted to show some of this, and especially like Al Woods. You know, he loves his little air fix stuff. So I pulled out a few little air fix and, well, a bunch of other little stuff. But, but then some of it's uh, 132 scale stuff that I really like that eventually I'm going to build. So I just thought I'd show y'all and just kind of show you what I got. And then later on, I think I'll start doing maybe some unboxing of these military models for the military guys. Not just these. I got a whole bunch more, but I'll try to throw some in here and there, just do an unboxing or whatever. Maybe one of these days I'll start actually building something. But uh, but that's what they're there for, because one of these days I probably will start building them. Uh, like I said, cars is my main thing right now, but you know... I like everything, you know, I watch all the, uh, the diecast guys, I like, I watch the Hot Wheels guys, uh, I like to watch the racing, uh, let's see, the RC guys, I love to watch those guys, but man, that's, that, that's, that's expensive right there, I, I'm just a poor boy, I can't afford those, but believe me, I envy them and I love to watch them, and some of them guys that do the RC, man, they really put the work into them. And, and I've even seen some of them where, you know, all the doors open, everything opens, even has engines, you know, motor detail and stuff. And, man, I really think that's amazing. I can never afford anything like that, but, but maybe one of these days I might build one. You never know. But the, uh, the military stuff is something that I can't afford and I can do one of these days. Uh, and one of these days I will. We'll start doing it, you know. I'm just ranting. I'm just on here ranting. But, uh, Al Woods, let's see. Here is, it's a helicopter kit, it's an airfix. It's a Whirlwind H.A.S.22. You see that? I don't know if you can see that very good or not. But, let me try to zoom that in there. That kit... I don't know how old it is. I don't even know. Yeah, it does. It's got a date on the side of the box right here. 1974. I don't know if you can see that very good or not. But it's still sealed. But, you know, the cellophane's kind of ripped on it. But uh, I'm one of them guys. I'm not afraid to open something up. So uh, when I do an unboxing, I'll open it up. And I'll show you, Mr. Wood, what's inside of it. Well, that's one of them. And then here's another little air fix. This was bought oh years ago at a TPA Hobby Center, and I know that was uh, I think in Hollister, Missouri. Uh, it is an old kit they had on uh, what you call consignment, and uh, this in here is a Ock Wolf 189. I don't know much about them, but it's a German plane, and it's a cool twin-engine plane here. And I know Mr. Wood, you'll know everything about it. 172nd scale. 
like I said, I'll do I'll do an unboxing on it sometime, but I will open it and maybe show you the decals. Shoot, they're old. Got the instruction in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but parts are parts are still in it, buddy. It looks like a very interesting little kit, and it'd be little, but it'd be cool. But that's that one. Here's one, and it's not an air fix, but it's a 170 second. I know it's old. I think 1965 on the box. It's a Hawk kit. It's got cool little box art. I love the old box art of old models. Sometimes the box art's better than the models. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's true. This is a T6 Texan. Let's see. I know it opens up here. I, let's see. The instructions on it. Pretty simple instructions, I'm sure. Well, actually, that's not the instructions. That's just a... I guess shows where all the decals. This thing don't have the instructions in it. There's the decals. All the parts are there. Yeah, it's it's all there. It's a very simple kit. It's not a lot to it, but there's no no instructions to it. But heck, it's from 1965. What do you expect? It's probably been ain't no telling how many hands it's been through. And here. Got this one at TPA Hobbies. Like I said, it was on consignment. And it's a 172. And this in here is a pyro kit. And I want to see if there's a date on this one. Well, I'm not seeing one. But it's super old. I mean, you know, that's a 60s or 70s kit. I, I really don't remember when pyro went out of business. It was either late 60s early 70s they didn't last too awful long but that's another vintage little 72 scale i think you would appreciate and there are the decals i think if i can read this right i think it's 1969 when that It's all still in there. It's even got a base to put up, put it on. Let's kind of keep with the air fix real quick. I'll show show you this one. Here you go, Al. That is a. Boy, I don't even know how to say it. Is that Italian? <laughs> I can't even... Savoia Marchetti SM79. Yes, I'm from Arkansas, and I'm a redneck, and I can't spell. But I, I guess that's Italian. That'd be Italian markings or whatever. I don't know if there's a date on this box. Let's see. 1980. 1980. There's what it'd look like from the side. And it's still sealed. Like I said, I'm not about... I'll open them up. It don't matter to me. Yeah, let's see. I think this one's fairly recent. It, it's not that old. Uh, smear. Uh, what is that? That's... Czech Republic. Okay. And this one here is an Albatross D3, and it is 148 scale. And there's some markings on the back for it. I love those Albatross kits. One of these days, if I ever get any money to where I can afford it, I want to get like a those wingnut kits, those 132 scale kits. Super detailed. Let's stick with the airplanes. Well, I don't know. I got one. 
one little one three fifty I wanted to show because uh Al's doing the ships right now and stuff too. This is a submarine kit and it's a Tamai kit and it's a Japanese Navy submarine I four hundred. It's a Tamai kit. I don't know how old that is. It ain't that old. I mean, it'd be. See if I can find a date on this one. Oh, 2007. It's not that old, but you can see it's a submarine, but it also has. Uh, it launches an airplane. A little Japanese zero, I guess. Comes the base. A little stand for the Japanese Zero. I just thought that was pretty neat. I got more ships and stuff up there, but I just thought that was real cool. Alright. This one here is not 172. It's a 148. And it's from... It's a monogram kit. And it says copyright from 1958 1973 so vague I guess that could be a 73 you guys tell me that know anything about them I don't know nothing about them but well that sure is a beautiful looking plane look there that is a Avenger TBF you can see it looks like the thing opens up and it's got a little bomb that can drop it's got the little machine gun thing there and it's open <laughs> it's got some old stuff in it, that old red baron 1971 well maybe it's from 71 because there's 71 monogram models little thing i guess you could send off for magazine or something so that's 1971 that was the year i was born let's see there's the decals of course they're yellowed oh cool that's a neat kit look the wings retract back on it it's got a little figure with it down here and a figure there that'd be a pretty cool kit oh yeah well like I said I'll do unboxings on them later I'm just wanting to show you what and it's not been built it's molded in a dark blue This one here is a SBD4 Dauntless. It's a Hasegawa kit. You see that? I think what scale is that? The box arch. It's 148, so it's the same size as that other kit. That's 148. Here's the side view of it. That's the only side view right there. I mean, other than the box art, but it's open. It's still sealed on the inside. It's got engine detail. See if I can show you the the decals. Well, the decals are still sealed, but I don't know what those markings are right there. I know what the American markings are, but I can't tell if that. I don't know if that's British or I don't know. I don't know what those are. If they're just another part of the American. You gotta do something too. Like I said, I don't know much about planes and stuff, but it's not gonna stop me from building any sometime. I keep watching, and there's some dang, get dang good videos on there. You guys give them tips on how to shadow and how to do all kinds of stuff. And Mr. Al Wood, I think you might like this, because this is British, and it's got a little British, uh, RAF staff car or light utility car British car with it. It's a de Havilland Mosquito NF MK2 with British light utility car 10 horsepower. Check that out. I don't know if you've seen that before or not. But uh there's the side view of it. I think it's 148 scale Al. There's a little car, and it also shows like the built 
variation of it right there. And that kit was from 2009. And I've opened it, but it's still sealed on the inside, I think, pretty much. Yeah. It's a lot of parts to it. It looks pretty detailed. It's got the little staff car with it. And like I said, I'll do a unboxing on that. If y'all want to do a vote on it, you tell me what you want to see unboxed pretty soon. And maybe I can get it to you. Get it on there. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, and then I'll work Wednesday and Thursday. But maybe by the weekend I can. And here's something that Mr. Al Wood might like. The Tarieri, the Tarieri, my redneck's coming out. And it's a 172, and it's Italian flying boat. Cant Z501. Look at this. I picked that up years ago at an antique or a flea market. What do you think about that? Here's little pictures, I guess, of other car, or planes and stuff they might have. And there's the other side of you. Let's see if that thing is open it up. I know it's 172, but man, it'll sure be a it'll sure be a big big plane once it's built. Let's see what the here's the markings. Here's the markings. They're yellowed and stuff, but they're still usable. I know how to make those work. Here's the big old color. Not color, but black and white. I guess showing the placement of the different markings, the different decals, different ways to do it. And shoot, looks like a lot of parts for that little old thing. And like I said, I'll do an unboxing. Y'all just tell me in the comments which ones y'all really want to see unboxed, or I can unbox all of them eventually. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can get to. Now, these, now the planes coming up are the stuff that I really, really want to build eventually. And uh, one of these days I will, for sure, which I mean, I might eventually get to all of those. I really don't know. But I love World War I planes. And when I was a kid, I did build some World War I airplanes. But you know, when you're a kid, it's not great. It's like my model cars were had thick brush paint on them. And if I did spray one, you better believe it was run, had runs for miles in it. You know, it was a glue bomb. Of course, we all get better, you know, and everything. But just think of all the old vintage kits we wasted. <laughs> but here's one. And this is a vintage kit, and this is a Ravel kit. And this one here is from 1965. Still, still in excellent shape. This is a 128 scale, I think is what it is. Let's see. Or 132 scale. Let me see here. Might be 132, 128. I'm really, it's not saying here, but like on the uh, Ravel, the other ones I got will say 128. So, and this was Werner Vaughn. Werner Vaughn was Rick Tofen's, which would have been the Red Baron, greatest competitor, or closest competitor. Sorry, there's my, my, uh, redneckness coming out. So, I guess he was like the second biggest, uh, what do you call it, pilot of World War I for the German German guys. Warner Voss, or Werner Voss, however you want to say it. It's his triplane. You can see it's molded in a light blue plastic. And there are the decals to it. They're yellow and old, but like I said, I can make them work. Those are, like I said, those are my favorite planes of all time. I was always in love. And this one here, soft with camel, Al. And uh, this one here is, it's 128 scale. That's what leads me to believe that that's 128 scale. 
This one here was from 1981. You can see that. You can see the Red Baron plane in the background. But, uh, let's see. Yes, I love those old planes. And that one's never been built. This one here is molded in a Oh, it's got some kind of iron on or something. Little iron on patch or something. It's a soft wick kennel. Stuff you don't see no more. There are the decals to it. Molded in green. You can see that wingspan pretty good size. It's 132 scale. So the detail would be pretty easy to do on it being that big. This one here is a RFC Camel Lahone. Lahone. I'm like I said, red. This is 132 scale, and this is by Hobbycraft. Look at there. So I guess that is a British plane too. And here are all the markings on the back. This one's still sealed. Beautiful plane. So many different markings, so I'm sure since it shows the markings, it'll have all the decals for it. But here's some of the planes on the side. Like I said, this is 132 scale. So this one's actually going to be a hair bit smaller than those 128. Alright. This one here is a hobby craft. And it is a Fokker DR1, which would have been like the type plane that Red Baron would have flown. And it's 128 scale. So, but it's a hobby craft. You can see right there. And the markings on this one are cool. I love that green and yellow markings. But this also, it shows the red one on the side. So, I mean, I'm sure you can build it like that too. And there it is. And it's still got the decals are beautiful on that all kind of little oh and that one has been started on <laughs> look at that don't think I've ever really looked at it that one's been started on that'd be the only one's been started on but I guess since they were painting it red it wasn't going to be like the box art there it was going to be the red baron plane and like I said, this one's 128 scale. I got another Hobbycraft 128 scale. This is still sealed. And uh, this one is the, the Red Baron plane. But that one's still sealed. There's no markings on the back of You can't tell what's on the. Then I got two of these exact kits. And these are hobby craft, but they're 132 scale. This one here is sealed, and this one here is open. So they're exact same thing. We'll show you the one that's open. All right. Foker DR1 Light Aces. That's... Oh, yeah, there's, boy, there's all kind of markings here. Look at all the markings you could do for this one. There's a black plane. There's the red plane. There's the yellow and green, white, look the green and blue, it's got blue in it even. So, that will be very cool kits built. One of these days I might have to start one of those. There's the, everything's still in the bags on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. All the good decals. Look at that. So many different markings. So, yeah, if you had a lot of these planes and you needed decals, well, they got them. All right, guys. I just thought I'd show this to you. Like I said, this is just some of them. I got a heck of a lot more, but these are the ones that I really thought that Al would like, and then I just wanted to show the ones that I really like. Like I said, I love the, the World War One. 
and I like the fact that they're 128 and 132 scale because they're big. I like the bigger scale model airplanes. Uh, be a lot easier for me to detail them anyway. Uh, but I got some tanks and and other vehicles and and more planes up there like jets and all kinds of stuff. But these are the ones that would really interest me to really want to build. And like I said, I'll I'll do some unboxing on them. And if uh, y'all want to say which ones y'all want to unbox here real quick, maybe I'll get some unboxings on them. Thank you. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.